This is KNTY News. Good evening, I'm Renee Thick. And I'm Lou Buzzington. The legendary mother of the House of Renaissance has wrapped up another two sold out stadium shows in Amsterdam, Netherlands, serving endless looks, technical difficulties, and a new Ivy Park line. But first, since she will never acknowledge it, Dangerously in Love just hit 20 years of it release. The album that sold 11 million copies worldwide won five Grammys and earned four top number five singles, Crazy in Love and Baby Boy. Truly an iconic era to be alive. And 20 years later, it's no surprise that B's crown has not moved an inch. And that demand is seen in the train coming home from the Amsterdam show. However, that torch is ready to be passed on to the new queen of pop and training, Blue Ivy, as she continues to eat the B lady up, as well as overseeing the tour as creative director, manager, and musical director. The other Carters were also in attendance in Amsterdam, including Jay, Rumi, and Matthew Knowles, as B name dropped him at the show, saying that he surprised her for Father's Day. Family is everything, and at the Renaissance World Tour, one of the security members let one of the fans go backstage to pump their round of applause to feed their baby. In other news, Queen Bee wore all new outfits created by black designers in celebration of Juneteenth, including the uh -oh girl herself. She also took to IG to report on her new Ivy Park Paradise swimwear, coming in this June 23rd, inspired by Studio 54, Bob Mackie, and the disco era. Just when we thought Ivy Park was dead, she has truly risen and is ready once again to drain our bank accounts. Speaking of rising or lack thereof, once again, somebody is getting fired as Patti LaBelle's Christmas tree lighting was channeled. Where my background singers? And there's the wrong words on the cue cards. I don't know the song. The stage during Pure Honey failed to rise on time. Therefore, the dancers were nowhere to be found as B was forced to improvise. Next card, honey, next card, next card. Next card, honey, next card. Oh, and Renee was unable to fly due to technical difficulties and couldn't even move back and forth as B could not get on and off in time. We're wishing our beloved mascot a speedy recovery so she can fly over the crowd again as the crown jewel of the Renaissance tour. Meanwhile, the rumors of Liz Twin dipping into some honey is getting thicker. Honey, honey, honey. That's all for today, Beehive. We'll see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. For the top of the morning, we shine. This is KNTY News.